Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. Airplanes have been the standard for regal transportation for the longest time, but sadly, like all great inventions, many of them meet their end either in a good or bad situation, leaving them as abandoned relics for the next generations to find. This is 100M, and today, we are coming at you with 10 most incredible abandoned planes in the world. Make sure you pay attention because the plane at number one is going to give you tingles all over. Number 10, 2019 Piper PA-46 Malibu. One of the most incredible and heartbreaking stories of a plane going missing and abandoned before being found again happened on January 21st, 2019, when a Piper PA-46 Malibu light aircraft transporting Emiliano Sala, an Argentine soccer player for Cardiff City, crashed into the English Channel. The plane fell thousands of feet in only seconds before plunging into the deep dark waters. It was traveling from Nantes in France to Cardiff in Wales. Salah had just been signed to Cardiff City Football Club two days before the crash and was looking forward to a bright future. The Piper lost control with Jersey air traffic after the pilot asked to descend from 5,000 feet to half the altitude so he could maintain visibility to keep flying the aircraft. Sala was terrified of the rattling and difficulties the plane seemed to be experiencing. He quickly sent a WhatsApp audio to friends, saying, I am now on board a plane that seems like it's falling to pieces. If you do not have any more news in an hour and a half, I don't know if they need to send someone to find me. I am getting scared. At 2,300 feet, the plane lost contact with traffic control and seemingly disappeared. Thirteen days later, the aircraft's wreckage was found on the seabed at a depth of 200 feet. A few days later, Emiliano Sala's body was recovered from the seabed wreckage, and the pilot was never found. Number 9. Tepelev, Tu-144 in Kazan Although abandoned, the Tu-144 looks fully intact from the outside, and it was discovered by the assets, and later photographed with a flying drone camera. Despite its age, some unauthorized visitors snooping around found out that most of its functions were still in relatively good shape. The wipers were still functional, as well as some other parts and systems of the plane. The Soviets were sure that they could improve the Tu-144's range to at least 2,000 nanometers with a payload of 14 to 15 tons, but the plane's engine just could not take it. The aircraft, which was nicknamed the Konkordsky, was related to the backbench with a history of little to no use which is probably how this one found its way here since 1985, a few years before the final dissolution of the Soviet Union occurred. There are actually plans to restore Konkordsky's project in the Kazan City Square, and it turned into an interactive public museum. Number 8. British Avro Shackleton at Long Martson Airfield in England Somewhere in Long Martson Airfield in England, a once glorious British Arvo Shackleton sits on the airstrip, rotting away and drawing farther from what it once was. The Avro Shackleton was British long-range maritime patrol aircraft that was majorly operational for the Royal Air Force and the South African Air Force. The Shackleton was primarily used in the anti-submarine warfare as well as the Marine Patrol aircraft missions. In 1991, it was replaced by the Boeing E-Century and it finally retired. Shackleton resident in Long Martson is the WR-985, which was initially intended to become a part of the Stratford collection. As time passed, hopes of reviving it were abandoned, and it was simply left out there for the elements to deal with. Number 7. Olympic Airlines in Greece In Athens, Greece, there is an airplane graveyard that is just as eerie as it is creepy. Back in 2001, this graveyard actually used to be a bustling, successful airport called Alinikon Airport. Flights came in and out, airlines flew to and fro, and business was great. Until the Greek government realized that the airport was, in fact, old and unfit to use for the approaching Olympic Games that were scheduled for 2004. So Ellington was abandoned and left to its own devices, and it turned out that they actually left some aircraft behind. Pretty careless to leave millions of dollars to waste glistening under the sun and fading under the wind and rain. Number 6. Russian cargo plane in the desert plain of Umm al Quwain. The harsh elements in the desert plains of Umm al Quwain have had the luxury of feeding on an old abandoned Russian cargo plane 
besides the Barracuda Beach Resort. And they sure have not been kind. You might wonder what a Russo cargo plane might be doing smack in the middle of the desert and UAE. And you would be right to. Like all strange and supposedly unexplained landmarks across the UAE, this old cargo has its own story to tell. The plane is a Soviet-era aircraft called an Illusion IL-76, and it was designed as a strategic aircraft, particularly used in remote regions. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, the aircraft suddenly seemed like it had no purpose. It was reportedly abandoned in the desert land, which used to be an airstrip, and left there. The only cargo this Illusion would be carrying anytime soon is tons and tons of dust. Number 5. Russian M-17 Stratospheric Aerostat Fighter In the 80s, an M-17 Stratospheric jet fighter roamed the sky as a high-altitude geophysical research aircraft in the Soviet Union designed by Vladimir Myashishev, a general Soviet aerospace designer. The United States had kicked off several programs using high-altitude Renaissance balloons to ascend into jet stream and be transported over the Soviet Union and China. The world and war were in a fickle place at the time. Rather than sit with their arms folded like sitting ducks waiting for what could be attacking balloons, the Soviet designed the M-17 to monitor the high-altitude balloons. In case any fishy business started to pop up, the M-17 would swoop into action and take them out. Seeing that M-17 soaring high in the sky gave the Soviets a certain sense of pride. Tragically, what now remains of this once magnificent sky crawler lies on the outskirts of the Menino Museum in Moscow, Oblast, Russia. Overrun by weeds and all other kinds of vegetation, this plane is now an abandoned relic, its beauty fading by the year. Number 4. Pegasus, a C-121 Lockhead Constellation Plane, Antarctica A C-121 Lockhead Constellation Plane called the Pegasus lies partially buried in the snow of Antarctica. On October 8, 1970, the pilots flying the Pegasus knew they had reached the end of their journey with the Lockhead Constellation when they ran out of fuel smack right above the middle of a storm in Antarctica. Without any fuel to return to their New Zealand base, and with the slurry of snow and ice whipping through the air, they were stuck with two options. Stay in the air till the storm ripped the plane to pieces, or till they ran out of fuel, or crash land as safely as they could into the snow below. They went with the option less likely to kill them. Now, you can find the Pegasus as its crash landing site near 9 miles from the Chapel of the Snows, and about the same distance from the volcano sponge of McMurdo Sound. Most of it is covered in snow and ice, although people venture into the site and take a few snapshots and look cool for social media. Aren't they always? Number 3. Boeing B-17E Flying Fortress Swamp Ghost the Agayambo is a swamp in Oro Province in Papua New Guinea and was left uninhabited after the pygmy race of inhabitants went extinct. This would be the last place you would expect a Second World War U.S. Air Force Boeing B-17. The vegetation is thick, the heat intense, and the area mosquito infested. However, in 1972, that was precisely what the Australian Air Force discovered, partially submerged in the swamp after decades. It was apparently nicknamed Swamp Ghost and was suspected of having crashed in February 23, 1942. The pilot and his crew were lucky to have not lost their lives in the crash. They journeyed on foot for several weeks, fighting hunger, terrible heat, and malaria. By 2010, the plane was salvaged entirely and returned to its home in the U.S. before being transported to Hawaii for a display at the Pacific Aviation Museum at Pearl Harbor in 2013. There are still B-17s existing, but a couple of them have remained airworthy. Now it's time for today's best pitch. Today's best picture was sent in by a subscriber. If you find a picture you'd like to know more about, just send it over to us. You might get lucky and get featured. Number 2. BE-12 Chaika Back in the Soviet era, Several magnificent designs of planes and other machines were put to the test. One of these was the Bereev BE-12 Chaika, a successor of the Bereev BE-6 flying boat. The BE-12 was a turboprop-powered amphibious aircraft designed for anti-submarine and maritime patrol missions. It had an insane speed range, much because of the BE-6, and also featured retractable landing gear, which allowed it to be able to both land on water and land hence its nickname, the Amphibious Aircraft. 
The BE-12 first flew in October 1960 and made its official debut public appearance at the 1961 Soviet Aviation Day. Aircraft was a widely celebrated one, but over the years, it has been reduced to no more than scraps and relics of the time past. Somewhere in an abandoned airfield in Russia, here lies a dead BE-12 Chetka, mounted upon a pedestal feet for all to see and reminisce upon. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 1. Presley's Private Lockheed Jetstar With number 1, we're ending with a loud bang of rock and roll. Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, and musical genius extraordinaire, has lived on in the hearts of many since his death in 1977. Not only has he lived through in his music, but many of his possessions have been idolized and kept in place for his fans to admire. These include his rhinestone stud jockstrap, which was recently auctioned for tens of thousands of dollars, many of his rings, and even his t-shirts. On a runway in New Mexico, a private jet once owned by Elvis Presley has been sitting idle for almost five decades. The aircraft is a Lockhead Jetstar that was designed interiorly exactly according to the music star's preference, in rich golds and reds. Over the years, it has been auctioned several times and it has not found a permanent home. If you're a die-hard Presley fan, now this might be your chance to own something of his that isn't a jockstrap, that was infuriously close to his areas. We have come to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for a decade of good luck and of course for more interesting videos by 100M. See ya!